The final letter in the word Noel is L, and it stands for love, the love for children. Our recipient of tonight's award is a man who may be better known for his powerful presence on the gridiron, a man who cut holes for the legendary Barry Sanders to follow, a heads-up player who always looked downfield for the next block, the guy who was part of the wall that would not allow entry to any adversary, an unsung hero, a lineman. Over the span of his nine-year career with the Detroit Lions, Tony Semple played in 112 NFL games and had a rare opportunity of playing alongside football legend Barry Sanders. Tony was on the offensive line that helped that future pro football Hall of Famer rush for an amazing 2,043 yards in 1997. It was number 20's humility, however, that left the deepest impression on Tony Semple. When looking back, Tony says, it's been a great journey and a great road for me. It opened up a lot of doors. I used to think that it was just for me because I deserved it. But now I realize that it's a platform for God. And Tony has been using that platform ever since. It led him to found the Tony Semple Foundation for Hope. After seeing kids in need, kids who spent long, grueling hours in hospitals and doctor's offices, in isolation from the world around him, Tony decided to help. He says, we take kids that are suffering a debilitating illness, a life deficiency, and we take them hunting or fishing, getting them in the great outdoors. I love to just work with kids that might not have the means or opportunities to get out there themselves. In 2009, the foundation was named, or excuse me, the foundation uh, uh, named uh, Tony, the NFL Player Association's Charity of the Year. Tony Semple's Foundation for Hope Outdoors Adventures continues to provide a fresh air place for children in need. An authentic, all expenses paid, three to four day outdoor experience. And Tony Semple is also a man of faith who draws inspiration from Jesus' words. Let your light shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you the recipient of the St. Nicholas Institute's 2013 Love for Children Award, Mr. Tony Semple. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father Joseph. Um, I wasn't quite sure that this uh, was going to get started uh, a year ago or when, when he contacted me. And frankly, it's just because uh, I don't really think we should get awards for doing something that we're called to do. And so this is kind of an awkward moment for me. And I just, as you were reading that, there's some things that got left out in this. I didn't start this foundation. Craig Mort started this foundation. He had a, he was taking five kids uh, on his own. And he was running to Gander Mountain and he was putting all these camps together. And he invited me because I was playing in the NFL and we knew each other. He invited me to come up and sign autographs for the kids, see the kids. Well, I came up and I saw the program, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with these kids that I realized on the outside they look deficient to our world. But on the inside, when you get past what the world looks at them, they've got an amazing gift. And God teaches us that throughout the whole Bible. He takes something that's insignificant to the world, and he makes it great for his kingdom. And I got an opportunity to be a part of that. And when I was looking, when we talked, I said, this is great. He goes, yeah, I'm about done with this. I go, it just, it's just too much. So all we did is we took my name, and we got the NFL support, and we got a corporate sponsor to put it behind it to give it some wheels, and it took off. But for me to stand up here and accept an award would be very hypocritical for me because it's nothing that I did. It's something we did as a journey together. Along this journey, we've had an opportunity to impact over 100 kids and spend over half a million dollars on kids. But the difference is this, we have a chance to, to talk to kids and say, you know, it doesn't matter what your journey is, it's got a specific place. God didn't want to build a brick house, man, with all just perfect red bricks. He wanted yellow, black, red. He wanted it unique, and we all have a journey to go through there. We have an opportunity to tell kids that, you know, and God, comes up to you, he's going to say, he's not going to ask you how big a house you had. He's going to ask you who you invited in it. He's not going to ask you how much money you got. He's going to ask you if you compromised your soul to get it. 
And the difference is we have a chance to make a difference. Are we living for titles? Are we living for testimonies? And I would, I would be a great honor if we could take this award as we take our lives and we pass it on to others and we share it with others. This would be my gift to share with Craig Mortz who really started this foundation. You would honor me if you would allow, put his name on the award and bring him up as well. I want you both to come up together for the photograph. Yeah. Just real quick, for, for those of you that know, um, Tony and I are like overgrown 12 year olds. We've been, we've been best friends since, uh, since the late 90s. So when he said we were having this award dinner and, um, and, and we've been, we, we truly have been blessed. We, we surrendered this foundation to Christ and, and ever since then, no one person could have achieved or, or, or have accomplished the things that we've accomplished and the number of children that we've affected. Um, when we surrendered that to Christ, it, 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 it was, it's just the most humbling thing to see where this thing goes. I mean, we, we, we take kids in states and NFL franchises come on board and they provide players and memorabilia for these kids. And, and you know, it, it's absolutely unbelievable. But when Tony said we were getting this award, you know, I, I show up early and I'm out in the parking lot and sitting there on the phone and an older gentleman steps out of his vehicle and dresses in red, and then another gentleman gets out and dresses in red, and I thought, then there's three, four, five, six. I said to him, wait a minute now, this is, this is not the first practical joke that this has happened. So, so, so when we came in here, it all kind of came together, so. Uh, <laughs> it's truly humbling to stand here with the other recipients and just say, wow, just wow. We all have an opportunity to go out and affect someone's life. And it just takes you doing it. That's it, it just takes you doing it. And I am truly humbled to be here as well as be humbled in your, in your presence. So I just wanna say thank you.